Hi, my name is Zach Butler. Uh, I live in the United States and I'm here with students on ice on this wonderful trip to Antarctica. And I'm going to tell you why climate change is so important to me. I live in Virginia Beach, Virginia, a city cornered between the Atlantic Ocean and the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we're just down the river from Jamestown, the first English settlement. And when the explorers came to the United States in 1607, they stopped at Plymouth Rock and they sailed around the Chesapeake Bay. If you read their logs and their journals, uh, they talk about waters so clear and so blue like they've never seen before, even more beautiful than the, than the Caribbean. And they say that if you dip a net in the water, it's impossible to bring it out without um, loads of oyster and flounder and toadfish. And when I go to the beach today, it's sad because I don't see that. I see dark green water with stuff floating around where when you dip your hand below the surface you can't see it anymore and every time I go to the beach whether it be the bay or the ocean I, I wish so strongly that I could see what those explorers saw and Antarctica is such a beautiful place because it's largely untouched when I come here and I, I sit on tops of, of ice caps or I walk along the beaches and look at the penguins I know I'm seeing exactly what the explorers saw a hundred years ago and that that's just amazing and I, I just pray that if my grandchildren or my great-grandchildren come here and they read my expedition journal they don't say to themselves I wish I could have seen what he saw and that doesn't just apply to Antarctica that applies to everywhere uh, moving back to the United States um, I read that if ever if all of the ice in Antarctica were to melt the sea level would raise 50 meters or 150 feet and that would swallow up quite a bit uh, we had a glaciology presentation uh, by Jeff, which is the study of glaciers and ice, and he said that, he showed us a map if the ocean level were to raise just 7 meters, which is 21 feet. And he showed us, of course, that New Orleans would be flooded and southern Florida would be gone, but that's not the part of the map that I was paying attention to. I was paying attention to my homeland, um, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, and here's Virginia Beach where I live, here's the Atlantic Ocean, here's the Chesapeake Bay. That's what it looks like now, just a rough sketch. Um, of course, I was looking at the red part of the map, what, what would be gone. And this is what it would look like. Uh, you can see everywhere that, I, everywhere that I've been to school, everywhere that I lived, all completely gone. And that's, it, it scares me to think that that could be my future. Um, also note that the entire eastern shore is gone. And that may not sound very important, but all of this is fresh, or all of this is salt water from the ocean, all of this is fresh water from the rivers, and that would ruin the entire ecosystem of the Chesapeake Bay region. Um, and that's just from flooding. Imagine what the temperature change would do, five degrees, they're predicting by 2100. So that's why climate change is so important to me, and we can all find something, um, we can all find a reason to make these, these positive changes to the earth. Thank you.